guys welcome or welcome back to the channel so as y'all can see i look like a burger king right now and that's because i got off of work about like an hour ago and i've been home for a minute um chilling and stuff but i decided i'm just gonna do like a mini vlog with y'all because i just love making content i love making content i want to stay consistent so this is what we're going to do okay and i took my dinner out i tried to Think to remember, like, you know, when you were like a child and you like you wanted to go to McDonald's and then your mom was like, no, baby, we got food at home. I didn't understand that back then. But when you get older and you're grown and you have like you have a job and you, you know, you got money, and you have to save your money because you have stuff to pay for. And you have bills and stuff. Oh, no, baby. Seriously, there's food at home. OK, so I'll be trying to tell myself, like, I'm about to keep eating out, buying McDonald's, stopping here, going there, getting this because I don't have it like so remember y'all if you're watching this there's food at home stop eating out yep you eat out too much you spend too much money eating out you need to eat at home if it's food at home eat at home and if it's not food at home go to the grocery store and get some groceries instead of spending 20 to 30 dollars at mcdonald's or however much you spend you're probably spending more than that each week at mcdonald's or wherever you eat out at starbucks wherever Mm -mm. that money you spending or not I'm spending eating out and you can go to a grocery store and get some food and cook at home okay period period okay but anyways besides my little rant I got home from Burger King y'all and I was really this close to buying me some Burger King and I don't even like Burger King like that but I was just so hungry and you know when you're just so hungry you want food right in the moment like you don't want to wait to cook nothing but I had to tell myself I'm eating you a little snack. I ate um, some M&M's on my way home. I was like, I'm just going to eat this for now until I get home so I can cook. I took my steak out, thawed it out. My mom thawed it out for me. And I got some shrimp and then I got some potatoes that my mom had made earlier that I'm going to eat with my steak. So that's what I'm about to eat for dinner. And I'm so happy that I did not eat that damn Burger King, okay? Because now I got money I can save, okay? But anyways, so this is my steak. It's not cooked, obviously, but I'm about to preheat the oven. I preheat my oven to 350, and I'm about to season this steak up, y'all. And I can't eat steak without A1 sauce. So I always check, like, before I make my food. Oh my, do we have enough? Okay, I'm making sure. Before I eat my steak, I have to check, like, do we have A1 sauce? Because if not, I can't eat it. Like, I have to make something else because, no. And same thing, like, when I make, like, fried chicken and stuff, if we don't have hot sauce, if we don't have my Frank's Red Hot when the chicken is done, I'm not eating it. Like, I need my sauce. I'm a sauce type of girl. Like, I need sauce with my meat. Period. Okay? Period. <laughs> but um, I preheated my oven to 350. And I have my steak here. This is a big steak. But, you know, the girl's hungry. But I think I'm going to trim some of this fat off because it is a lot of fat on here. And... I don't like it. I don't really like it. Okay. So I'm about to trim some of this fat off of it, season it up real good, and throw that in the oven. Okay. Y'all, is it just me or like, did anybody else just get introduced to like cutting boards and stuff? Because before fucking long time, when I was growing up, we didn't use cutting boards. Like, if we had to cut something, we cut it on a plate. And then from there, that was that. But like, recently, like when I got more into like cooking and stuff, as I got older, you know, when you're cooking more, you find out some new stuff and you start seeing other people use stuff and like, you're like, oh, maybe I should use that. You know what I'm saying? But I actually just got introduced to um, cutting boards probably like last year because before we were not using cutting boards, y'all. And some people may think that's like kind of, I don't know, but it's really like, you know, we all grow up different. And I just like never knew anything about it because I never seen anyone use it until I like started cooking more watching like new recipes and videos and stuff like that then i seen people were using like actual cutting boards to cut stuff on okay so i just cut all the yucky stuff off on my steak that was having it looking crazy so this is what my steak looks like now and i'm just gonna see my steak yeah we actually don't have a lot of seasonings right now um i actually need to go re-up on my seasonings but we just gonna have to make do for right now i'm just gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper I like my food to have a little spice, but like not OD, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put like a little bit. Y'all, this morning, y'all, I was literally shocked. I had to go to work. I had to be at work at 10.30. I walked out of my house and it was snow on my car. 
it's November 2nd and it's snow on my car already. I'm like, yo, like, I don't, bro, I don't have time for this. And so y'all may not know, but like, if you watch my vlogs, let me know. I had just, I just literally got my license, like, not too long ago. And I haven't really ever drove in the wintertime. If y'all don't know, I live in New York State. So, like, our winters, they be serious. Like, baby, don't play with us, okay? Because in winters, they get crazy, like, blizzards, like, like feet like six feet snow type stuff like snow up to the to the door you know what i'm saying like yeah it gets really ghetto okay and i never like drove in the winter because you know i just got my car in july so obviously it wasn't snow on the ground in july so i'm like now i have to prepare myself you know when i'm driving in the winter these roads will be icy your car will slide so you do have to be careful and then i have to remember that now that i have to make sure that i'm warming up my car Especially now because I do have an older car and if you don't warm your car up and it's already old, you know, you can mess up your car like that. So, I have to do that. So, I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself, like, to remember that like, now I have to be waking up a little bit more earlier because I do have to let my car warm up for, like, at least 15 minutes um, and then leave work early enough and then because you can't drive as fast. And, you know, like, when it is no snow on the ground, you know, if you run a little late, you can kind of do the dash a little bit. <laughs> but when there's snow on the ground and I and the roads are like slick and icy and you know you have to drive slower and you have to make sure you take your time wherever you're going or you're just going to be late but i don't want to be late to work um because for one i need my money okay i need to be clocking on time so i can clock it on time and i don't have to be near any longer or whatever than i gotta be okay period but back to the steak y'all so this is my steak and how do i make my steak i like to bake my steak for 10 minutes on 350 and then after i bake it for 10 minutes i fry it for like another 10 to 15 just to make sure it's well done but y'all that's literally the best way to make your steak bake it for 10 fry it for 10 and it's perfect perfect okay so i'm literally just gonna bake it in this pan because it's gonna go right on the um, stove anyway so i'm gonna put this in the oven just like this 350 for 10 minutes and then yeah once that's done put it on the stove and then i'm going to season up my shrimp and get that going so we can get this show on the road because your girl is hungry but i hope everybody has been doing well and y'all are staying safe out here last week y'all i was literally so freaking sick like so sick like my throat crazy i couldn't breathe like i felt like i was dying i literally felt like i was dying no exaggeration so truthfully i think i got sick because just like the weather changed especially like i said with being in new york the weather change is like instant crazy like one day it can be 80 degrees next day it's 50 degrees next day it's 75 next day it's 60 next day it's 50 next day it's 80 it gets really like funky like toward like the end of september when it's trying to like trans when it's trying to like what is the word when we're transferring to like the fall season i can get really sick every year around this time i get sick y'all so no i don't have covid okay no no ma'am okay but definitely like that season change that stuff really like messes me up every year i get sick around the same exact time it's annoying but it is it is officially november 2nd and i hope y'all going out and y'all voted tomorrow november 3rd please by the time i see this i don't know when but if it's after november 3rd i hope y'all voted because I ain't even gonna speak on that, but just make sure y'all go vote if you're old enough to vote. You better go vote, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is my shrimp, and I just get my shrimp from Walmart. Nothing crazy or special about it. I'm about to just throw this shrimp in a bowl. I like to take the tail off of my shrimp. I don't like tails on my shrimp. I don't eat that. If you got the tail on there, I'm not gonna eat it, or I'm just gonna take it off. But at that point, it's too much work, so I might not eat it if you got the tail on it. But I really do wanna get into, like, making, um, trying some new foods trying some new recipes and stuff like that y'all because i'm really like tired of eating out like i work in fast food but like the thought of eating fast food is like really disgusting to me like the more you eat it and the more you see it and you're like in that environment you do not want to eat it as much at least that's just how it works for me um not saying anything is wrong with like burger king food or eating out all the time you know that's just not something that i really want to do all the time i enjoy eating home cooked meals the only reason why i would probably eat out more often is because i'm just like lazy and i'll be so hungry to the point where like i feel like i can't wait and go home and cook but i realized that 
Maybe you're just gonna have to wait because the way eating out has been making my pockets hurt. Oh yeah, the pockets are hurting y'all. The pockets are hurting. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, I really need to stop and I wanna be healthier. I don't wanna be eating out all the time. That stuff just, it makes you sick. Or at least for me, so. I'm trying to not eat out all the time and cook at home, okay, baby? Because if it's food at home, we're cooking at home. And make sure y'all cleaning y'all meat and stuff like that because that meat, that stuff be dirty. But for my shrimp, I'm just taking some Old Bay and then like some salt and pepper. And if you don't know what Old Bay is, it's literally just like a seafood seasoning for like fish, shrimp, crab, baby, just basically just all seafood. So I'm just taking some Old Bay and then I'm taking my salt and then some pepper. And then once it just looks like that, I kind of just mix it all up with my hands. Yes, my hands are clean. I wash my hands about four times already. And then I'm just going to let that vibe on the side. So it looks like that. And then, y'all, as I go, I like to make sure, like, I'm cleaning up as I go. So, like, when all the food is done, like, the kitchen is like, a hot mess. And, like, my mom isn't, like, yelling at me. Like, and I, you need to get in here and clean this kitchen. Ma'am, I'm going to clean the kitchen once I'm done eating, okay? But I try to clean up as I go. Okay, y'all, sorry I might just look crazy now, but I just got comfortable because, girl, when I'm cooking and I'm in my home and I'm in my house and I'm about to eat and unwind and chill, I like to take all my clothes off, get out the work clothes. I'm gonna eat my food, I'm gonna shower, do a face mask, all of that, okay? But I'm about to, okay, so my steak was in the oven for 10 minutes. I took it out and I've been frying it frying it letting it cook and stuff now i'm about to just throw my shrimp right in with my steak and let it cook all together take a little bit of butter i can't believe it's not butter and just take about that much this is what it's looking like um, you can see you got the steak cooking then i just throw my shrimp in the shrimp is probably going to take only like five to six minutes to cook it doesn't take that long um and yeah and then by the time the shrimp is done my steak could be done and then i'm gonna warm up my potatoes and i'm gonna show y'all the end result okay y'all so my shrimp is almost done so i'm just taking these potatoes that my mom made earlier i'm just gonna warm them up in the microwave for a little bit so i can eat them with my food and we're gonna be eating real soon so i'm about to show you how it looks okay yeah, so this is the final product i am about to put my a1 sauce on there and everything but i just wanted to show y'all what it looked like before i did this is my steak my potatoes and my shrimp i'm gonna eat it up so y'all this is what my food is looking like i'm very much proud of it and i'm about to eat right now because i'm starving and then i'm gonna update y'all afterwards this is just like a quick chit chat rant cook with me whatever be i'm about to eat okay y'all so i'm back um my whole mood done changed now so like i'm really kind of irritated right now but i do hope y'all enjoyed this many like cook with me type thing and comment down below videos that y'all want to see and yeah i will see y'all in my next video peace